folks, you join your host Richard on uh, Cross Britain Way, day 18, taking a day off the track. These are my, uh, these are my uh, Mindle um, MFS vacuum boots. I've had these ones for a year now. These are my second pair. First pair, I walked um, the length of, I walked more than the length of um, New Zealand with. Um, it's six months of non-stop walking. Then I did another hike on top of that, and another one, like two two extra short hikes. Then the, the basically the problem was then the padding inside needed fixing which I couldn't do so I sold them to someone who could. Similar thing started to happen now with them. Um, I've had these for a year. I've done qu quite a lot of long distance hikes. I mean this one I'm doing now is um, 300 miles around 450 kilometers something like that probably more actually because I'm doing side trips um, uh, and um, I've done since I've been back in England I've um, this year I've done um, I did the Hebride Hebridean Way which is a similar length to this one I'm doing now then I did the Sky Trail then I did a whole load of trails and walking for three months in um, Tasmania as well through some pretty rough terrain on one of them like on the South Coast track and uh, Port Davy track was uh, a few of the tracks I did and um, they're quite, quite uh, rough terrain and rough going and plus in fact I carry a really heavy pack I carry up to 30 kilos at a time so they've done really well um, so with this one uh, you got the wear there these are really this helps with the rocks and stuff stops the um, boots ripping um, the, the um, grips are still okay not too bad um, this one the sole is all right um, and these are the original laces by the way ladies and gentlemen they're still intact um, are they the original laces? Yeah, these are the original laces, I'm pretty sure they are. Um, which is surprising, actually. Um, so yeah, one of the boots has got the sole started coming off, which I've heard is a problem with these with some people. Um, here, just there. Uh, the screen. Just here. Sole started coming off. Maybe some shoe goo will fix that. Hopefully it should be alright till I get back finish the hike in two days anyway so um, oh and the the uh, padding inside at the back of this one is gone really it's literally it's just worn away right at the bottom of the heel at the back the padding is just totally worn away um, uh, and this one yeah same with this one as well same with this one um, so that's 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 worn out in the back. So this problem with most boots, the padding goes. Um, at the moment, it's still comfortable, so I'm not going to get another pair of boots. But um, it will probably become a problem. They're not waterproof anymore. I can tell you that. Just walking through the grass in the mornings, my feet get wet. But I can tell you the amount of um, hard terrain I've been along with these boots. Um, hold it a second. Start my GPS watch is started. I'm trying to, I don't want to, um, I don't want to waste the battery, right? So, um, yeah, and the laces are good, and so yeah, you've got so this is after a year of pretty hardcore hiking, um, so still usable, just not, not waterproof. Maybe you could get waterproof spray from, but I'm not, I'm not too bothered about them being waterproof. Um, so yeah, just walking through the grass in the mornings. It's really wet now with those, but they're still.
feel comfortable, very comfortable, and I sit, these are my, I've gone through so many hiking routes, but these are my favourite. These will last walking entire country and some more. So if you want a pair of boots that are going to last you walking the length of Britain, if you go and walk to Van Lam's End to John O'Groats, or the Aotearoa Trail in New Zealand, or the PCT in um, USA, or some other long distance trail, super long distance trail these are the boots to get um they're, they're good in winter as well they're i think they're like uh free season boots you probably could you can use them in winter i've used them in winter in uk weather winter i don't know about yeah scotland i've used them in scotland in winter as well um but yeah if you're going to do some serious mountain climbing obviously you'd want a pair of four season where you could put crampons on and everything um but yeah, so these are the uh, Mindel MFS um, vacuum boots, highly uh, recommended. Thanks. Oh, and they're quite they're quite heavy, but I don't find that a problem. But um, yeah, you can check out the weight on the internet. I'll put it on the video.